unconvincingly pretending that the world isn't falling apart. This is tell it to someone. First question is from Joe Freddy. Should we send Tony Abbott back to um, help Theresa May sort out Brexit? Um, well, yes. Well, it's already a clusterfuck, so uh, I don't think uh, Tony Abbott will be of much help there. Um, but anyway, I think we should because we'd have been, we would have gotten rid of it for him. But he already Brexited anyway, having have, you know emigrated when he was four. Um, apparently, that was the height of his intellectual uh, intellectual uh, peak. Um, it was all downhill from there. Even the Rhodes Scholarship, which he got for punching young priests in the face. Next question is from Jonathan Sturm. What Australian animals are not trying to kill you? Well, the magpies trying to kill you, the kangaroos, definitely they can disembowel, so can the emus. That's both of the um, ones on the uh, coat of arms, as well as the, uh, the swans, which are black and deadly. Um... The koalas, of course, we don't need to mention those. And of course, then there's the, uh, then there's the, um, you know, the, 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 you know, magpies, which they only want to kill you during a certain season, okay? So that's fine. Swooping season is right out. But apart from that, it's fine. It's fine. In fact, the only one that aren't trying to kill you, you know, those giant spiders. The giant spiders that sometimes hang upside down in your bedroom and scare the ladies. They're the ones that don't want to kill you. They just want to eat some flies. They're nice. They're nice. We call them huntsmen because, you know, they hunt men. No, they hunt, they, they hunt like flies and stuff. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're scary, but they're fine. Just like me. Next question is from is it any uh, what kinds of shoes do you wear same pair all the time or well of course I'm, I am wearing the same pair of shoes because I've got the same pair of feet but when I change my feet I change them into another similar pair only they're new except they don't have the holes in them so they get rather stinky because there's no air coming into them so I don't wear them all the time except when I want to impress the ladies except they get smelly so I don't but I don't get the stage to where I'm taking them off so it's okay it's okay because uh, I think I've got to rethink my situation here. Maybe I should just get better ventilated shoes. I'll throw out the ones I've got. I think the water's coming in. Next question is from the Naked Wombat. If Meatloaf is prepared to do anything for love, why won't he do that? And then a supplementary question. Is re uh, Meatloaf actually refusing to do a Junkin Christmas stare within the realms of, a, uh, of a, even a participant of fetishes wouldn't touch? Well, of course, there's a lot of Christmas fe fetishes, mostly involving tinsel. Oh. Um, and I, I wouldn't want to get into, uh, into uh, um, tinsel in the, uh, you know... <laughs> Just pulling it straight through, that's... No, no, I'm not going to... <sighs> Flossing your bowels with tinsel is not fun for me. It's fun for somebody, but not for me. Um, so, yes, so Meatloaf wouldn't floss his body with tinsel, his bowels with tinsel. I mean, that... Mm, yeah, he wouldn't do that. He would do, he would do anything for love, though. But... You wouldn't do that. But nobody wants to do it, do that for love. It's, it's mostly lust. I mean, you know, it, would, it depends on whether they wanted him to do it for love or not. If he wanted to do it for a bet, maybe. Next question is from the great fish. What is the con... It, Key ingredient of any uh, uh, decent sandwich, uh, except bread and butter. Well, you spelt sandwich with D-G-E, so you're talking about a, a golfing thing. I mean, which is like modern car carbon fibres, or maybe some iron if you are a traditionalist, or um, cheating if you are Donald Trump. Yes, you use che cheating in your sandwiches if you are Donald Trump. But anyway... Um, um, you could you could try any number of things because I don't actually know much about golf apart from you know you can cheat like you you 
you, you, you hit the ball and you say it went over there, but it actually went over there because you hooked it or sliced it, depending on whether you're left or right-handed. And then you um, you go over to the green and then you put the golf ball in your pocket, but your pocket's got a hole in it, so it comes out next to your foot instead of in your pocket. And then, oh, look, there I go. I, I hit it right here. No, you didn't. You hit your golf ball into the bunker. No, I didn't. That's a lie. That's a d look, lies were said, OK? Lies were said... I, it looks like I'm cheating, but all I'm saying is that lies were said. I'm not saying that you were lying or I was lying, but look, there's my golf ball there. It's obviously my golf ball because it came out of the bottom of my pants. So therefore, I made that ball, golf ball go right onto the green. Therefore, um, I win as long as I can make this putt. Fuck! All right, next question is from the Naked Wombat. How many elf does it take to stuff a Santa? Well, um, if you know what happens with Santa, he goes from house to house every night drinking um, rum and eating bickies. Um, so he, he gets very, very fat. Um, but um, he, he does it all in one night and that burns a lot of calories. So he doesn't actually get fat because it all it all uh, maintains itself. Um, it's got a very slight equilibrium. And as long as the um, reindeer eat enough, um, well, Rudolph is the one that eats, and the rest of it is um, like a, a human centipede of reindeer. Um, so Rudolph is the one that eats, um, but it's, it's too... It's too complex to unhitch the reindeer every time and feed them. So Rudolph, up the front, he eats, and the rest of them goes human centipede style. Um, and I can't remember what question was. Um, oh, how many elf does it make to stuff Santa? They don't have to stuff the uh, Santa. Um, the Santa stuffs himself while he's um, giving all the presents to all the good young girls and boys and all the bad ones. Um, he just eats all their cheese anyway. Next question is... The last question from the day is Roll of Nichols. I'm glad you found a use for my video, Viva La Yellow Vest. Well, that's not an actual question. That is, um, that is a declaration of thanks and support for yellow vests. And I, I used to, I, 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 wear, I used to wear a yellow vest. If, if I was, if I was working around traffic, then I was forced to wear a yellow vest. Well, it was yellow and orange. But I don't know what I'm going to say here because there's not, there's not that much to put under this bit. So I'm just going to ramble on a little bit more, ramble on a little bit more. Oh, there's a plane up there. And that's it for telling someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, then ask me a question in the place where the questions traditionally get asked. And because it's so close to Christmas, of course, this will be a Christmas episode. So here is a Christmas question, sort of yes. There's the Christmas question question. Christmas question. Yes, yes, yes. I believe it might have been asked by other people or myself at some point at some stage in time. I don't know because I haven't actually asked it yet. I haven't even researched it in order to ask it. Um, I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off. There's the plane over there. It's a Qantas plane. It's not crashing. Who would have thunk it? Rain man. Quantus, never crash, never crash.